Tell him not to not a fun. I finally woke up after how long? How long? Um Oh, after thirteen hours of sleeping I woke up. Awesome. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with my life. <laughs> Let's just get started with the day. First day back in America. Okay, I think first I should wash my hair. I need to mentally like, tell myself what to do and then actually get up and do it because I have like no energy to do. I'm like, no, I don't want to do anything. Just need to keep myself busy today. That's going to be my goal. So, let's do it. dehydrated so I need to drink a lot of water. Okay guys, I'm gonna shower now. Jet lag symptoms. Let's do it. Jet lag symptoms may include Disturbed sleep, such as insomnia, early waking, or excessive sleepiness. Check. Daytime fatigue. Check. Difficulty concentrating or functioning at your usual level. Check, check. Stomach problems. Check. A general feeling of not being well. Check. Mood changes. Check, 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 check. Ah, oh, ah, jet lag, man. It's so real. I've been up for like two hours and I'm already exhausted and I don't want to eat anything. So yay, cheery life in America. What, what? Toothless says hi. Hmm. <laughs> Look what I was doing on a chase today. For some reason, this song is like my anti-anxiety song and it makes me feel at peace and like everything's gonna be okay. I need to unpack now, so that's what I'm gonna focus on. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna eat some um, packing now. Yo guys, update. So I cleaned up my room a little bit because it was really busty. And I unpacked my carry-on and my backpack. I haven't unpacked my suitcases yet. I just need a break. I'm getting like a really bad headache. And I should probably eat. I haven't eaten in like 19 hours. But I'm just like so not hungry at all. I'm really nauseous because jet lag. Um, but like my room doesn't look too bad right now. Not that terrible. This is like my favorite part of my room. My older mate Cassie painted it for me because she's really good at art. And so yeah, it's right here. Look guys. This is my front yard and that's my swing and I'm gonna go swing on it right now. I have an obsession with swinging. I don't know if you guys know that. You probably don't because I really haven't told you much. But yeah, I have an obsession with swinging. I love listening to music and swinging and daydreaming. It's like my favorite thing. It's so nice out today. This is my view right now. I live really close to the mountains. And, oh, it's so blue outside. It's kind of weird showing this side of my life to you guys because you guys have never seen this side of my life. You've only seen Korea. So it's like really, honestly, really strange to show you this side of my life. It's really, really weird. But I just wanted to show you what life is like the day after I get home from Korea. So yeah. So guys, I just found out that Seventeen is going to KCON LA this year. The one 
year I wasn't planning on going. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Guys, I want to go so badly now. Oh my gosh. This would happen anyways. I'm finally gonna eat after almost 20 hours of not eating. I'm gonna eat some pro a protein bar. That's what's going on in my life right now. Oh no, they had two years to go. Why are they going here? I didn't plan on it. I'm done. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just gonna eat now. Yo guys, I'm out on my swing again. I'm literally here like all the time because it's so nice. I also put some makeup on. Um, but I talked to my friend McCall for like an hour or so, probably more than an hour. We were working on something really exciting that I might be able to tell you guys now in the future. Those kids are real happy. So yeah, me and my sister are Paris. You're gonna meet her. We're gonna go to get some cup up because this place called cup up and it's like Korean food in a cup. It's great. So I'm gonna try it. We'll get some because I'm missing Korean food. So I hope this vlog isn't too boring to you being back in America. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I am. But I thought you guys would enjoy like my coping <laughs> vlog. So yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah. So guys, much. this is the cup up area. Yay! You're here with my sister. Oh, you're in the dark. Sorry, sis. Hi, Paris. Hey, guys, let's go. I'm in Korea right now. Is it? So they were really just playing real. No, they were playing real. Yeah. I would have this I know you would have. That's a little taste of Korea, guys. And we got the cup up. Spice level 7 out of 10. Oh, I need to open the door. So yeah, we're gonna take this home. Well, after we do a quick errand and then we'll eat the kapab. The kapab. The kapab. The kapab. The kapab. <laughs> All right, guys, this is what I got. It honestly doesn't look that good right now. I'm gonna mix it up with the chopsticks. Oh, oh, I know, gosh, guys, it still doesn't look that good. Cereal. It's pretty good. It doesn't look okay? that good, but it is good. Taste test. good it is good mm. that's just so <laughs> watching oh dark it's like a bbc K -drama. my sister like a, really like an english drama, like a -drama. <laughs> my sister really wants me to watch it so i'm gonna watch it for her and we'll see if i like it too all right guys now that it is like 12 40 this makeup that i wore for like maybe four hours <laughs> it's coming off so i'm gonna take this off right now and get ready for bed, but probably not gonna go to bed for a while, but you know, we'll, we'll just gonna go with it. Jet lag, man, jet lag, okay. Just, just. I just finished editing the first draft to my Busan vlog, but now, oh, lighting, man, lighting, lighting, crap. I think I'm gonna go to bed now, though, because I'm really, really tired. I'm, well, not really, but I'm feeling tired, and I'm like, okay, if this, I need to go to sleep because jet lag's gonna kill me tonight. I don't wanna go to sleep because I'm gonna wake up all early and tired. No, energized because jet lag. Oh gosh, okay. Can't think like that. I just need to sleep. So basically, I think I'm gonna do okay being here for eight weeks. This morning I prayed a lot and I read my scriptures and I just like prayed for peace of mind and just know that like I'm where I'm supposed to be in my life and I've gotten that peace and I feel like it's all gonna be okay and I'm just gonna take each day and try to make it the best that it can be. So even though I'm definitely not in my ideal place at all, I feel like like it'll be okay. It's gonna be all good. But thank you for joining me on this random vlog. Jet lag slash Korea withdrawals, fun, fun times. I might vlog a little bit more here, but I'm gonna just try to post a lot of Korea related content on this channel before I go to Hawaii. So we'll see. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I feel like now is when all my subscribers just don't like drop. And, like stop watching my video because I'm back in America and that's understandable I just I hope it won't drop too much I hope some of you guys stay and keep commenting and stuff because your comments literally make me the happiest person they completely turn my day around so yeah I'm gonna go now and I'll talk to you hopefully soon yeah and remember guys life doesn't only begin at the end of your comfort zone it also begins at the end of your culture zone bye guys See you in my next video.